All right, here we are. So today's objective is we're going to try and build a part start a wood stove anyway. We don't know how we're going to build the door yet. I think I'm going to use the exhaust off the envelope. See, I lined up the uh, exhaust gasket here. I'm going to cut those holes out. I, see, I pre-drilled them already. I drilled the bolt holes. It's pretty easy. The barrel's pretty thin. Got started without you, and then I thought, maybe I'll record this, so at least part of it, what I can. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that, that way we can use the exhaust gasket, and we're just going to be able to bolt the man, the, one of the manifolds off the envoy. Right on there, and we'll be able to bolt exhaust right to the end by whatever angles we need to get it out of the building, wherever we need it. So, right like so. We're going to mount that on there. Hope it breathes enough to, get, to let the fire burn. We'll find out the hard way. Like I said, I don't have a cameraman, so I can't really show you how to do this stuff uh, one-handed. Not very safe. <laughs> I'm just going to use this cheap old $14 saw here. Crap saw. I don't even know where I bought it. Somewhere online. It's already it's broken. You know, it broke the first time I used it. It's missing a little guide down here that guides the blade, so it's kind of not the best. But it works, and it will still saw the metal. to give you guys a heads up what we're doing and when I get an idea for the door we'll show you how we're going to do that um, I was we might even have to do some welding to this barrel who knows definitely be welding some of the exhaust pieces back together because we just have a bunch of pieces that we're going to have to over here that we, this is all the stock Y pipe off the, off the envoy We'll be using those pieces, so we'll probably cut it off here and cut it off here and cut it off here so we can get to you know the most length out of it we can. We don't really care if it twists and turns, as long as it lets the fire out, lets the smoke out of the building enough so that the fire will burn. That's where we're starting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these holes cut, and we'll go from there. And I'll start. Well, I'll check y'all later. Once again, thanks for watching Heather's Automotive, and I'll be right back. So the first thing we had to do was re-drill the holes closer to the edge because I'm an idiot and I wasn't thinking. And there was no way I was going to have to cut that a million times to get the blade in there sideways so I can cut the hole around. Eh. So we turned the camera back on just for a second <laughs> to show you how dumb I was. Anyway, don't make the same mistakes I do if you're trying to make something like this. Anyway, thanks again. So we got a piece of uh, one of those metal shelves, you know, cheap metal shelf. It's kind of bent up. I'm going to cut it up and try to make a door out of it. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. I'm going to try to fold it in half. And then cut the hole out of one side so the other half folds over it. I might have to put hinges on it eventually. We might still do that today. I don't think I can weld to this metal. I don't have anything else thick enough, so we'll see what we can do with that. I might even try using another piece of metal that's a little cleaner that I have. But we're going to try this to see what happens. Okay, the next step here, we got done. Don't mind my crappy welding. <laughs> I'm a crappy welder. And I'm a crappy welder. You can kind of see we got the exhaust cut out back there. A lot of dirt and mud in here. Hmm. You can see the exhaust holes down there now. And our door we made. Well, you can see my not very well welded. I grind it down a little bit so we don't want to catch our hands on it. I might try to fix it up, but it's not going to leak because it's, you know, it's overlapping as much as you see here. This is overlapping the barrel that much. I just wanted to make the barrel thicker around the doorway to strengthen it. Works pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is put this last piece of metal on here. Like that. We're going to weld it to a piece of pipe on this edge. And we're going to put, you know, flap here and a flap here with a hole in it for the pipe 
So this will just stay on a piece of pipe on that edge. It's not the best seal. It probably won't seal. You know, it'll probably leak a little bit. Here, but. Something about like that. I don't see what I come up with. This is what I've done today. It's taken me about two hours so far. I've been messing with this. I did have to change the roll of wire in the welder. I ran out of wire and had to start with a new another roll. So that took a minute. It fought me. Anyway, here we are. Don't know what y'all think. This is just me building a wood burning stove out of trash and a barrel. Uh, I didn't buy the barrel though. Somebody gave it to me. So literally, so far I'm building it out of trash and welding wire. Anyway, I just want to give you guys another heads up. I'm going to go and look for some metal to make these pieces with. And the pole's right there. So, we just got to cut that down to size. And make some holders for it. We'll be good to go. Might even use this thin metal and just fold it over a couple times. This leftover piece we cut out of the hole here. We'll probably just cut a strip out of it. Fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, bend it, make it an L, you know. Probably weld the edges, so stiffen it up, weld it right to the barrel. But this stuff is really hard to weld. You even touch it with the welder, it just burns right through it. So we'll probably just find something bigger. Just wanted to let y'all know where we were. See y'all. All right, so still need to get some legs on it. Door's not perfect, but it works. Here's what we got. Close it, just like it. Close. It's not really, no, no legs on it holding it up, but just close it up like that. And uh, now it's going to fall over, but I've got this little latch here. Hold the door closed. See? I'll put a knob right here. Latch it. And we'll hold it closed down here too. So. Inside of the barrel is just nasty. It's all mud. Gross. Anyway, here we go. I do have the lids that go on those two holes. Right there and right there. But there's my stove. It's almost done. Still gonna have to put some legs on her. And like I said, here's an exhaust manifold. Just what I ended up doing was so dark in here but what I ended up doing was welding the studs themselves into the barrel so I can just put the nuts on you know bolt it right on I don't know if I'm using this one or the other one and one takes a donut gasket to hook it up and the other one takes that little metal hard gasket I can't find either one so I'm going to have to buy one or the other so basically whichever one of them is cheaper is going to decide which one of these manifolds we use and then we'll decide how to hook up the rest after that. We'll bolt on there and we'll use exhaust pipe to go out the house, out the building. I don't, know, I don't even know where we're gonna put it in here yet. We might have mounted that cabinet a little too fast, but it wasn't easy to mount, so we're gonna leave it there. We might move the go-kart and all that and put the wood still right over there in the corner. I mean, that's probably what we'll do with it to keep it up there out of the way that way we can stack some wood under that cabinet and along that wall over there either way we don't know yet we're just going to get it working hopefully it works we got to make a grate for the inside to hold the wood and put some legs on it and it's probably all going to be tomorrow sun's going down a little bit today already that's why we had to get the light turned on <laughs> starting to get dark in here without it I don't know if y'all ever seen the whole garage. I don't know if I did a whole. It's not perfect. Still got little gaps here and there. I don't care though. Considering I have a couple hundred dollars in this entire building. Still got to finish this end. We're going to put a roof out here, but we don't have the metal for that. So we're just going to tarp that off for the winter. We'll see if we can't even 
We'll see if we can even warm this place once we get that thing going. Hopefully in the next day or two we'll have that ready to, ready to light. And then we'll work on getting firewood, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. Once again, Nick, Heather's Automotive. This was our, I guess our homemade trash, trash made wood stove, I guess. I mean, the barrel's technically trash. It was all rusty and got mud inside of it. I don't know how it got mud in it. But. Either way, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.